children a kid who was a drug dealer, a gangbanger. He wasn't any of those things. He was a, a young man that graduated out of high school and that was ready to go on with his life. At this point, though, I'm, I'm hearing two sides, and, and I don't have all the facts. I can't make a judgment call like that. What are you hearing? You, what I'm hearing is you, you had a police officer who put his gun outside of the car, shot a kid, got out of the car, and unloaded his gun in the body of Michael Brown. And, and I heard there was an altercation inside of the squad car and possibly the, the young man was going for the gun or the police officer was reaching back. Either way, a, a shot was fired. Nobody was hit. A shot was fired while the police officer, according to many of the witnesses, according to, to what they're saying is the officer was in the car and he shot outside of the car. He shot him outside of the car and he got out of the car and continued to shoot and kill him and allowed for him to lay in a puddle of blood for four hours for the world to see without even covering his body. That's appalling. Yeah, and I, I heard that was going on because they were responding to shootings in other areas and they had to, you know, look at this case very carefully. I agree with you. That's a long time. Um, and, and this is a horrible situation. But all the facts are not in as of yet. And, and here's my question to you, uh, State Senator. If, if it, the investigation is complete and the Justice Department monitoring over everything. They say it was justified. What then? What happens in the city of St. Louis? What happens to Ferguson? What happens in the state of Missouri? What we're seeing now is a tip of the iceberg. What we're seeing now with the looting and the rioting, is it will be only a tip of the iceberg. What, what, what needs to happen? We need an independent, thorough investigation 